The other morning I looked at my wife and I said, you know what my favorite part of the day is? And she's like, waking up next to me? And I'm all like, e yeah. You know what my second favorite part of my day is? Coming home from work and finding a package from Automaton Toys. Thank you, Automaton Toys! Hello and welcome to another Transformers review. Today, it's all about Titanium Thrust. So sit down, stick around, and enjoy. As for all our reviews, we start with the box here. The Titanium Thrust, which is a Target exclusive. This is part of the Titanium series. Um, Although we never really saw Thrust in a Cybertronian mode in the uh, television series or anything like that. He is still brought to us a nice little repaint here for the Transformer Universe line. As you can see the box is pretty standard titanium-esque box. Like they were all, they all pretty well resemble the same. There's Thrust. Here's a little a bio. So the box is just pretty standard. So let's open this guy up and see what he looks like. All right, and here's Thrust in robot mode. As you can see, I mean, it's just a simple repaint of the other ones, of uh, just like Thundercracker, Starscream, and Skywarp. Still, definitely cool to have this guy. If you need to, to have a actual more accurate ramjet and a dirge. They could have all the Seekers. Comes with the Decepticon logo on them. Silver painted just like the uh, just like the other versions of this guy. Of this mold I should say. If you look at his face here his eyes are actually kind of yellow gold just like the Aaron show. Definitely neat colors. I always did love Thrust's colors. Um, something that they did cheap out with uh, right away actually is that uh, this guy doesn't come with a stand so does he kind of cheap out here he doesn't come off with a stand thrust does not have a stand like the other titanium figures which I guess is kind of cheaping out if you ask me uh, he does have his instruction booklet here just uh, like all the other ones do so uh, yeah no stand for the thrust man so let's go ahead and uh, transform this guy. So let's transform this guy. Transformation is pretty simple. Um, just like the other ones, the other titanium figures. Turn this around. Take the nose cone. legs in here. Okay. Like that. Like top here. Pretty much fold this in. And close it up. And there you have thrust. In jet mode. So let's take a closer look at this guy. As you can see, I mean, this guy looks great. Just like the other Seekers from the series, they all look good. Tip of the nose here naturally is made of plastic. The back fin here is made of a lighter plastic. All the fins are actually. Here's the back end. Turn them around. As you can see. Great guy. He's even got some landing gear. The wheels are here and the front landing gear here. You can actually pull it up. I can take him and put him like this with the landing gear up. Or down, I should say. Very cool toy. Very neat. 
Thrust is awesome. Titanium line is pretty awesome. All the seekers in this line are actually very cool. So yeah, definitely a must buy for any fans of the Generation 1 series. For sure, and the Titanium series. Um, like I said though, it doesn't come with a base, which, you know, kind of sucks. But other than that, it's pretty much like the other seekers that you've already seen from this line. So until next time guys, take care. Later.